imagine traveling fifty-five thousand miles and having to stop two million times in order to get just a pound of honey? That's crazy, right? Well, that's exactly what honeybees have to do in order to produce that quantity. They beat their little wings two hundred times per second and fly at speeds around fifteen miles per hour as they hop. From flower to flower. To be fair, one bee does not do all that by itself. Approximately 556 bees collect nectar at each of the two million flowers they visit in order to produce this much honey. It takes that many bees working together because over the course of its short life, one honey bee only produces one twelfth. Of a teaspoon of honey. When a bee finds an especially good flower or water source, it will perform the waggle dance in order to share the location with others. Each honey bee colony is led by a queen that rules over the 20,000 to 60,000 female workers and hundreds of additional male drones in the hive. The queen is easily recognized as she is twice as long as the worker bee. She also lives for at least two years, if not more, whereas worker bees can live up to six months, but only if they are raised in the autumn. And male bees, called drones, only live for 55 days on average. Drones don't do any work. Their only job is to take care of the queen, and just a few of them are selected for this job. Honeybees have five eyes. Three simple eyes are found on the top of their head, with two larger compound eyes below them. Considering bees are constantly rolling around in flowers, you would think that pollen getting in their eyes would be a problem. But no, pollen can't get into their eyes that are covered in hair. That's right. Bees have hairy eyes. Instead of being allowed to cause blurry vision, the pollen sticks to the hair. This means that bees have to wash their hair often. Just another one of God's amazing animals.